Welcome to the RoboHydra standard plugin screencast. This screencast is going to show you how to use some of the plugins that come with the RoboHydra distribution. These plugins are always available, so you can just refer to them in your configuration files or from the command line. The plugins we're going to see are Logger, No Caching, and Replayer. First, we are going to see two plugins at the same time, logger and no caching. The first one, logger, will create a log file with all the traffic generated between the client and the server. So we can see what's going on and what kind of requests the client sends and what kind of responses it gets from the server. The second one, no caching, will tweak the headers of all the incoming requests, all the client requests, to remove uh, caching headers to remove caching. Um, this is useful uh, when we are working with a server that is not sending the last versions of the files or sometimes it's not sending the last versions of the files to the client and we want to make sure that uh, there is no caching problem. As always we're going to start checking the documentation. We go to the documentation on the main website and then standard plugins. Scroll down little bit and we will see the documentation for logger and no caching. We're going to start this example with two uh, small things. The first is a very small website. It's just one HTML page and one image uh, linked from that HTML page. And the second thing is a trivial plugin called Sample that is simply going to serve that uh, micro website. And uh, we have to install RoboHydra before anything else. We see in the meantime that Logger, uh, we don't have to configure anything special for it, we just have to load the plugin. And uh, no caching, we can give it a path, but we're just going to log the plugin, which means it will wo work for all paths. Now this is installed, so we can st start RoboHydra with logger, no caching, and our plugin sample that will serve the website. Before we make requests to the website, we are going to go to the admin interface and we are going to detach the no caching head just to see how the uh, server normally behaves and how, how the interaction between the client and the server normally behaves. So we can see the effects of caching. And we can see the effects of caching and all the traffic because we have loaded the logger plugin and the logger plugin is going to create this robohydra.log uh, file that we can tail so we can see what is going on. So we're going to force reload to force the client to ask for the whole website. In this case it has to make two requests, one get for slash and one for slash robohydra.png to get the image. It will get the image data uh, and we'll get the website here of course. Um, if from this point that the website is already cached, we just go to the same URL without reloading, just visiting the same URL again, we see that there is only one GET request to the image and the server says uh, 304 and returns no content because the image has not changed. The client said if modified since and because the image has not changed since then it just said uh, uh, 304. However, if we reattach this header, which is a normal thing that happens when you load a plugin, uh, we reload the website again. When reloading the website, again we have the two requests, one to slash and one to get the image. And now the difference is that when we visit the URL again without reloading, just a new normal visit, uh, the image is going to be fetched and the server is going to return 200 and the image data 
because we are removing the caching headers. Now, if you see the log here that is produced by logout, you will see that the if modified since header is there, is present. The reason is that the original request from the client did contain the header, so it's logged because it came with the original request. However, this header is removed before it reaches this head, which is the head that is actually serving those files from the file system. So the original request did have the header, of course, we have not changed the browser, but before the request was processed by this header, we removed, by this head, we removed the header. The Replayer plugin allows you to save some traffic to replay it later. This traffic is going to be saved in a JSON file, so it's easy to manipulate before replaying if you want to. This is useful in a number of situations. For example, you might get some responses from the server that are interesting for you because, for example, they trigger a bug in a client, but you can't always get those responses from the server. So if you're in a situation in which you can get those responses, you can save the traffic and then replay later whenever you want to. Maybe it's something that is time dependent and you know that you will get it, uh, say, today because it's 29th of February or whatever else. But you want to be able to reproduce that bug at any time in the future to make sure that that bug is fixed and it doesn't come back. It can also be useful if you want to work in a situation in which you don't have access to the server, so you want to save the traffic and work offline. Before we start, we're going to check the documentation for this Replay plugin. The documentation for all plugins that come with RoboHydra is in Documentation, Standard Plugins. If we scroll down, we will see Replayer which is a plugin we're going to use now. So, let's start from a directory that is empty except for a small text file that has an interesting URL we're going to use in a minute. And we are going to install RoboHydra. While RoboHydra installs, we're going to check the documentation. Basically, you have to start RoboHydra with this parameter, replay URL, that is going to point to the URL of the server that you want to save the traffic from. So let's start RoboHydra with loading the replay plugin, and we're going to pass the replayer URL pointing to HTTPS twitter.com. So now that we start, if we go to the server, now it's going to behave like Twitter, uh, HTTPS, Twitter.com. But what we want in our case is to check this URL, which is a search for a trending topic. So we see we get first MTV stars Justin Bieber as the top one. Then we get the wanted. And then we get something in Spanish. Um, we are going to start. This is uh, what we get if we just reload. But we are going to now start recording this traffic. Now from this point we're going to start recording. So now we reload again. So the first recorded is going to be what's a king bed uh, tweet. If we reload it's going to be uh, the wanted and if we roll, reload again we are going to get a bunch of uh, references to different bands. So now the traffic is recorded and if we go to the directory where we were before, we will see that we have a new file, RoboHydra replay.json, which contains all the traffic that has been recorded. So now that we have all the traffic we want to, we can start replaying. 
Now, if we reload again, we are going to be replaying the traffic that we have saved. So instead of getting the real traffic from twitter.com, we're going to get the traffic that is in this file in robohydro-replayer.json. So if we reload, we get again the what's a king bed without a queen tweet, then the, the wanted tweet, and then we get this tweet with several references to bands. If we reload again, we're going to get the first one again. It's just to going to round robin through all the requests to the same URL. Now, as an example of how we can manipulate the traffic that we have recorded in order to have slightly different responses from the server, we are going to open the uh, robohydra-replay.json file and we are going to uh, we're going to remove uh, change the last response. Uh, all these uh, response bodies are saved in base64 because they could be binary. So what we are going to do is echo something we're going to get the base64 version of this. We're going to uh, uh, paste it here and we also have to change the content length. In this case we're just going to remove it. Um, now we have the slightly, well, yeah, slightly modified version of the traffic. Um, slightly modified because the third response to the same search URL is going to have a completely different uh, response, a completely different body. Uh, most of the headers we haven't touched though. So let's see how this behaves when we start, uh, well we have to start the server first. Robohydra with the same parameters and now we're going to start replaying without recording anything. So we're going to um, serve the traffic that we have saved from before as opposed to recording and replaying from the same session. So now if we go here, we reload, we're going to get again the first one as normal, king bed without a queen. The second one is the wanted, but the third one is going to be this one that we just created now. As we can see, and again in the same way, if we reload again, we're going to get the first one again, second one again, third one again, and so on. This is going to uh, loop through all these responses forever. In this screencast we have seen how to use some of the standard plugins that come with Robohydra. We have seen Logger to save the traffic between client and server and review it. No caching to tweak the request headers and Replayer to save traffic, maybe tweak it and replay it later. If you are interested in front-end dev proxy, please have a look at the Robohydra for front-end developers screencast. Thanks for watching.